AEW and New Japan's Forbidden Door sells out. 3,000 remaining tickets sold in minutes. Malcolm Bivens addresses WWE release, confirms he turned down a new contract. Candice LeRae's WWE contract expires, now a free agent. Will Ospreay to make GCW debut at June's I Never Liked You. And Big E C1 vertebrae not healing optimally, hoping to avoid fusion surgery. Hey there everyone, it's Denise Salcedo. Welcome back to another episode of The Latest. We got several stories to jump into here today. First and foremost, an update on the Forbidden Door and ticket sales. The remaining 3,000 tickets left for June's AEW and New Japan Pro Wrestling Forbidden Door pay-per-view sold out in minutes on Friday as part of the public on sale, ensuring the event at Chicago's United Center will be sold out. That follows Thursday's pre-sale that saw more than 11,000 tickets sold in under 40 minutes, meaning the Sunday, June 26th event will have more than 14,000 fans in attendance. The final number will depend on how many production hold tickets will be released. Announced several weeks ago, it will be AEW's first co-promoted event with New Japan Pro Wrestling. The two have a strong working relationship over the past year with talents from both companies working in the other. Although the company is no stranger to Chicago, it will be AEW's second visit to the United Center. The first was last August's first dance edition of Rampage that saw CM Punk return to wrestling for the first time in seven years. Attendance for that show ended up being 15,316. Seems like everybody wants to walk through that forbidden door. Congratulations to both AEW and New Japan Pro Wrestling for this sellout of the United Center. I cannot wait for the show. Uh, what matches do you guys hope to see at Forbidden Door? Go ahead and let us know in the comments section below. And now let's go ahead and hop into some WWE stories. During a comedy show on Thursday night, Malcolm Bivens addressed his release from WWE. Bivens was released by the company during a set of NXT roster cuts last Friday. Fightful reported that prior to his release, WWE had asked Bivens to re-sign with the company this February, but Bivens made it clear that he didn't want to do so. Bivens confirmed that report while performing at the stand in New York City on Thursday night. Bivens said there had been conversations about him going to the WWE main roster, but he chose not to re-sign with WWE because he wasn't happy. Bivens also commented on his future in pro wrestling during Thursday's comedy show. Bivens said he's done with wrestling wrestling for now, but he might come back. Candice LeRae is now a free agent. Her profile on WWE.com was recently moved to the alumni section. And according to a report from Fightful Select, her contract has expired. The report continued to say that a WWE source stated if they had their way, the decision to freeze the contract during maternity leave would be in her court. As her contract expired, she is not under a 30-day or 90-day non-compete clause that would prevent her from signing with another promotion. Along with her husband, Johnny Gargano, Candice LeRae welcomed the birth of her first child earlier this year, Quill Gargano, who was born on February 17th. The 36-year-old had been with WWE since 2017, having made her in-ring debut for the company on May 3rd of that year. Her last match took place at NXT The Great American Bash on July 6, 2021. And now GCW is said to have a big debut, and that is Will Ospreay. Will Ospreay, former IWGP world champion and one of the world's top wrestlers, will finally make his GCW debut next month. GCW announced that Osprey will compete at their I Never Liked You pay-per-view on Sunday, June 19th, when the company makes their debut in Providence, Rhode Island. While the 28-year-old works mainly for New Japan Pro Wrestling, he also wrestles for Chicago-based Warrior Wrestling in addition to overseas promotions. I can't wait to see Will Ospreay in GCW. That's going to be very exciting. But now we're going to go ahead and jump into our last and final story. Unfortunately, this one is a little bit more on the serious side of things. Big E has provided an update on his recovery from a broken neck. In a tweet on Friday morning, the former WWE champion shared that his C1 vertebrae apparently isn't healing optimally. He's going to spend another four to six weeks in a neck brace in hopes of avoiding fusion surgery. Biggie suffered a broken neck during a tag team match on the March 11th episode of SmackDown. A spot went wrong and Biggie landed on his head when taking an overhead belly-to-belly -belly suplex on the floor from Ridge Holland. 
we continue to send our support to Big E and hope that things start to look a lot better for him and his neck. In the meantime, thank you guys so much for watching. As always, do not forget to give this video a like. Subscribe to the channel for more videos just like this one and lots more, actually. And you can also check out my podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling. I'm live here Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. Until next time, I'm Denise Salcedo. I'll see you all later. Goodbye, everyone.